Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the series where we get all the Creation Club mods starting from level one. And in this video, we'll be getting Elite Crossbows and the Expanded Crossbow Pack. We'll be getting these as I'm going to get Lucian, another mod for her, and I reckon a crossbow is a great weapon for him. Now, I'm thinking of getting him for a couple of reasons. First, I think I'm a little OP using Genesa and Indigo together and Lucian is quite weak, at least when you first get him. Secondly, and most importantly, the mod creators have just added a whole load of dialogue between the two of them, which means a ton of fun and immersion. The detailed specs and review of Elite Crossbows will be linked in the description box below if you want to check them out. However, I didn't do a review of Expanded Crossbow Pack simply because it was insanely overpriced and to be honest, not very good, well in my opinion anyway, but we'll be getting them today. All that being said, enough of jibber jabber, let's go. And here's our little Lucian, or Lucian me, Flavius. I don't normally do this, but um, have you got a moment to talk? Flirt? Uh, no, I, uh, that wasn't my intention. Not at all. I just meant I have a proposition for you. No, not that kind of proposition. I, I meant I'd like to do business with you. Uh, not like that. Can we start again? Oh, thank the divines. Right, let's have another go. <clears throat> my name is Lucian Flavius. I'm a scientist, philosopher, and I'm quite a intrigued how this works out with uh, Inigo. Oh, I suppose that's more of a hobby. I couldn't help noticing that you seem... How can I put this? I did use well him before, with the less savory and I can't remember why I... I took him out of my mod list, As I can't remember. Fact, I do. Oh, we'll see. I'm here in Skyrim on an expedition, academic mainly. I find the province simply fascinating. The flora, the fauna, the ruins, both Dwemer and Nordic, the architecture, the politics. Trouble is, I'm really not much of a fighter. I know a few spells and can just about swing a sword, but beyond that, I'm pretty useless in combat. Skyrim's no place for a milk drinker like me. Not on my own, anyway. So, I'm looking for someone to travel with. I suppose what I'm asking is, would you awfully mind if I tag along? I will of course compensate you most handsomely for putting up with me. Oh, shall we say 300 septims up front? After that, I'll top you up every time we come across something useful to my research. At your discretion, of course. No obligations, save that you take me with you and assist in keeping me alive wherever possible. Oh, splendid. Here's your goal. This is going to be quite the adventure. It's a pleasure to meet you. Lead on. Okay, so I think one of the first things we have to do is um, go and Up get him some drink. decent adventuring gear. Okay. I escaped fighting in Cyrodiil, only to have a trap. I'm sure you did. I don't know if I can uh, get rid of Genesis though. Okay, let's go to the Divine Elegance store and buy him some new togs. if I was doing this properly I wouldn't be able to afford to do this but uh, hey why not okay let's buy some gear and here he is put him the same stuff I've put any go in because they're my little crew actually this is the uh, uniform or sort of armor that I like to wear it's kind of really good rogue like uh, kind of armor okay let's go and get these crossbows Actually, when I say I wouldn't be able to afford it, actually, that's not strictly speaking true. I would have smashed out enchanting and alchemy uh, and just made loads of potions to buy all this stuff. Uh, which I said right at the beginning of this series, I'm, that's the reason why I'm uh, cheating money into uh, this particular run through. 
I don't want to spend hours and hours and hours for the sake of the video that is, uh, you know, doing alchemy and stuff like that. Okay. I can remember this was a nightmare to find last time. I'm doing what I haven't. I'm trying to do all this from memory. Okay, let's go. If I get lost, I'll uh, cut it all out. Or cut some of it out, sorry. Right, down Rimsey, perfect. The magical Skyrim horses, <laughs> they're great. <laughs> Especially when you've got an essential horse, like the wild horses. Makes life so much easier. Okay. Okay, I'll probably cut out most of that. Uh, I, if I do cut it out, I really turned around and lost so I think I'm on the right path now it's quite a tricky little place to find I think I can get any go of horse. I wonder if I can for Lucian. I'll, uh, I'll look into that at some stage. Where the hell is it? Ah. about this mod I think the only thing that kind of disappoints about it is it would have been really nice if you could have turned this into a player home like building it like a half fire thing and turn it into a nice home here that made, would have made this mod really worthwhile oh 
bollocks. I think I'm getting rubbish loot in these chests, uh, or rubbish loot, sorry, because um, I'm still at level one, so I'm kind of getting level one loot, which honestly, it's fine. Um, I need to get the key. I'm trying to remember what to do now. Where are we? Hey. Ah, oh, yes, you got two parts of this. Oh, it's a bit of luck we found the uh, the embassy then. Actually, that's something I didn't include in my review, if I remember rightly. You get a steel crossbow as well as a... an elven and a... Um, ebony. Actually, I haven't checked that video out. Oh, well, check that video out anyway. Check out the full uh, review, because it gives all the specs and all that kind of stuff. No way! That's where I'm from! Have you ever been to the Imperial City? No. My brother and I planned to, but we never quite made it. Anyway, I have always wanted to go. Tell me about it, please. Where to begin? People from all walks of life, every race and creed, mingle on broad, clean streets that glow almost white in the sun. New sights and sounds that light and challenge your senses at every turn. Swallows nest high in the pale walls, flitting from the crenellations to swoop and dive and play above saints and sinners alike. And watching over it all, the white gold tower stands sentinel, an unrivaled ode to wisdom and accomplishment. Its, its beauty is beyond words. Ah, oh, I do miss it. Wow, it sounds amazing. I am sure you will see it again in time. It is quite natural to miss home, but adventuring is a home all of its own. Skyrim is full of wonders, and we must make the most of them while we are here to enjoy them. I couldn't agree more. Oh, there you go, a little bit of um, new dialect between those two. That's pretty good. Anyway, back we go. Yeah, see how that pans out between those two, see if it's worthwhile doing or not. Okay, got some silver stuff here. Obviously been a vampire slayer.
Don't get too far ahead. Now, the one problem with this, this mod on its own, I think with the expanded crossbow set, I think you can buy um, bolts from the Fletcher. Uh, but this one is a standalone. I think you, you get a few to start you off. So, and if you're not part of the Dawn Guard and done that whole thing. Hey, whatever you need. Um, best place to get them is in Dwemer Ruins because you pick up those in there. I'm not sure when you could craft bolts though. If you've got right the behind you. the Dwemer perk, arm perk, can you um for smithing that is, I wonder if you can make bolts. I can't remember. But if you know about the answer to that, put it in the comments below. Yeah, but bolts are can be a bit of an issue though. Okay, so now the expanded um crossbow pack is really simple you go to the Fletcher in um, solitude and you can buy crossbows and bolts now I don't know it's still the case but Fletcher last time I did this I uh, got this I couldn't get the store in or dragon bone one um, so I'm not sure what the story is there, where you have to have that particular perk or some kind of perk, or you have to do the um, the Stole Rim quest in Soul Stone before you can get it, I'm not sure. By the way, around here, the top of my memory, there's a few crossbow, uh, crossbows. Hello and welcome, my friend. And we get those later. An archer, huh? I've got just what you need. We are in the best shop in Skyrim. <laughs> So you can buy all these. I mean, like I said, I've, I've cheated loads of cash in, so I can buy them all. Um, if you're a new player, I suggest you do your, per your alchemy and enchant so you can get yourself making loads and loads of potions, and you can buy pretty much anything. It takes time, though. And it will level you up as well. Perhaps I'll be seeing more of you. Okay, so down here, you've got a load in um, the case. And I think there's another one around this as well. Unless I miss it, maybe there are dragon and, and storing ones around. I'm not sure. I, I can't remember finding them. Um, be careful. Yeah, I think, I think there's... Uh, there's a few long rounds. Anyway, there's definitely those two in those cases. We'll have a look. Because what we're going to do is, uh, well, we're going to rob him blind. So let's wait till night time. Okay, no one's watching.
<laughs> I'm sure there was something in that. That's weird. Hell, it doesn't matter. It was only a bow. We're not here for that. Oh, there you go. I knew there's something else around. the cheese wheels, grab those. I think that's just about it. Oh yeah. Can't believe I nearly forgot those. Now obviously remember if you uh, get nicked while well, you've got stolen goods uh, they could be confiscated off you so uh, bear that in mind. So there you go, we've got all the crossbows. Now honestly if it's down to me I'd personally just get the elite crossbows. Um, I'll show you the difference in the uh, textures between the two. So uh, let's take a quick look at those. So this here is the um, ebony bow from the elite crossbow. Uh, mod uh, it's pretty decent actually and like I say it's in the review you get better shots of it in in the uh, review video so again check that out um, but if we compare it to the Daedric from the crossbow expansion pack you can see the textures and everything just just are nowhere near as good um, I guess it depends what kind of role playing you're going, but personally, I, I just wouldn't bother with it unless you kind of get it free uh, or like a ridiculously uh, cheap price on uh, on sale or something. But again, it's up to you. You might be playing character that that would suit. But uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose I've got to say yeah. It's a matter of personal preference. Anyway, that's it. We've got Lucian. We got all the crossbows, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the vid. Found it useful. Check out the. Um, uh, the reviews in the description box below and blah 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 anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it uh, catch you next one and uh, love you